guys, today I'm going to tell you guys about the thing that is uh, in the outer space, in the universe, in the Milky, Ga Milky Way galaxy, and it is called um, the solar system. So the solar system, as you already know, there are eight planets in the solar system. There's actually nine, but the last one doesn't have any choice to be a planet. There's just only eight. <clears throat> Here's the diagram about the solar system that I drew. First is the sun. The sun is actually a medium-sized star. It is big compared to us because it's far away. But compared to the other stars, it's just a medium-sized one. So the star. The star, the star is something which is huge hot make made of hot gases so that is the sun in the center of our solar system that have gravity that pulls all the planet in that pulls all the planet toward the sun to make a, a circle a perfect circle that's every planet's orbit first is the mercury mercury is the first planet in the solar system but actually it is not the hottest well, you know later. Next is Venus, and that is the second one. And the Venus is also called the planet of fire. And that next to the planet of fire is the planet of water, our mother Earth. So, our Earth, that is the only planet that sustains life. Next is Mars, the planet of red, because it's full of um, red, red soils and stuff. Yeah, here it is, Mars. And, so, next to Mars, wait, so, from Mercury to Mars, it is, um, like, the planet, which is made of rocky stuff, like, rocky material. First, let's go through. So, there are eight planets. That's divided into two categories. That is terrestrial and Jovian. First is the tr terrestrial. That means the planet, like the in inside, uh, the rocky ones. So, all these rocky planets have one, I mean, have the same tricks. Make of, made of rocky material, or solid surface, uh, don't have rings. Few or no moons, relatively small. So, as you already know, the rocky planets have, like, our Earth have only one moon, and the other might don't have any. So, that is terrestrial. Let's go through each planet more specifically. Mercury, the smallest planet, and it is short. It has a shortest orbit. Here it is. Next is Venus, the planet of fire. And it's in, um, the hottest temperature on Venus is 867 degree, degrees Fahrenheit. So that is very, very hot. Next it is there's atmosphere of the carbon dioxide and there's lava flows. That is the causes of that hotness of the planet. Next is Mars. It is, um, it ha might have also supported life of maximum, uh, yeah, apparently, approximately 3.7 billion years ago. So that is how, like, that's when it might have supported life, might have. But we are discovering more to live on Mars after our Earth is being destroyed. So, yeah, Earth. So, between, between the terrestrial and the Jovian, we have the, the ring called the asteroid belt. So the asteroid belt contains every dust and rock that comes from space or meteorites. So that's the asteroid belt. 
which separate from the terrestrial and the Jovian. Next is Jupiter, the largest Jovian and also the largest planet in our solar system. So Jupiter, it is famous for its size and very, very big. Yeah, and it has a very big storm here. So this storm lasts like forever. And this black red spot is a storm right now. That's Jupiter. This is uh, Saturn. And Saturn is slightly, slightly smaller than Jupiter. And it's famous for rocky, dusty rings that contains every particle, small particles from space, or even ice. Next is our comet. So comet you can see anywhere. Oh, it's not kind of part of the solar system. It's not that important as our planet. So next is Uranus. Uranus is like, um, it's bigger than this. Neptune and Uranus are called gas giants. And Jupiter and Saturn are called the gas giants. And Saturn is um, slightly bigger than its partner. So Uranus and Neptune. As Uranus famous for rotating on its sides, which means that one point of it will never be daylight, and one point of it will like always be the day. So that is the eight planet of our solar system. Out further is Pluto. That is a dwarf planet. Now before it's it is a planet, but then they discovered that they don't have one trait that all, all planets do. So it is separated from that. So outside of our solar system, we have the Kuiper Belt. Here, uh, yeah, the Kuiper Belt. that contains kind of like the asteroid belt, kind of. So do you know that our solar system is one of over 500 solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy? Yeah, it is. So now we are going to discover about our Jovian planets. First, our Jovian. We have the gas giants and the ice giants. So the gas giants is made of helium and hydrogen. And the ice giants contains rock, ice, mixture of water and methane, and ammonia. Yeah, the ice giants. And all these Jovian, we have multiple moons, no solid space, I mean surface, a support ring system, and immense in size. So we all have, we all know about the planets now. And let's discover more specifically. First is Jupiter. In Jupiter, we is the largest Jovian and planet. Biggest of all, have many large storms and famous for its red spots. Six is Saturn, famous for its rings. So its rings is about two that I mean, let's see, two hundred eighty-two thousand kilometers. But yeah, and kind of like um, 175,000 miles. But kind of like it's barely a kilometer thick. thick. Like um, it is thick, but only one kilometer. But the length is so big, like about thousands of kilometer, kilometers. So one kilometer it's thick is equal the distance from Earth and Moon. No, it's the distance between like uh the length. Yeah, that is two two hundred eighty two thousand kilometers away. That's from our moon. So do you know why that the moon and the sun seem equal when we are on Earth? Because the uh, the sun is a four four hundred times bigger than the moon, but it, it is also four hundred times um, farther than the moon. So that is why it seems so equal. <clears throat> kind of like estimating. 
seven is our Uranus, and that's our ice giants. Uranus, slightly big, bigger than Neptune, rotates on its sides. It is an ice giant, and one side is always dark, and the other is daylight, as I have already told you. Next is Neptune, the outermost planet, and one of the coldest, minus 353 degrees degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, it is of about 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. That is a huge distance and that is why humans cannot live on it because it's too cold. And our earth is less for its distance uh, from the sun. Yeah. So that is all about my solar system. Wait. My solar system with eight planets and all of its traits. As you can see, that is all about my solar system. And thank you for your listening. Goodbye.